Hello, I guess time and time again, what's the biggest chord you can have in music theory? So we'll start off with a triad. We'll start off with a C triad. And basically, uh, this is the root, third, and fifth. So I keep stacking thirds because we have a tertian harmony. We basically build our chords off of threes. So we'll go up another one there. That's going to be a seven. Go up another one. That's going to be a nine. Go up another one. That's going to be 11. Go up another one. That's the 13th. And if I go up to the 15th, that's C. So that's just going there. So the biggest chord we can have is a 13th chord. Now, if you see, there's a lot of notes there. And when I play piano or play guitar, I only got six strings on the guitar. You know, the piano I only got 10 fingers. So what we do is we play the most important notes. So the most important notes is always the third, the seventh, and then whatever notes are going to make it either a, a 13th, 11th, or 9th. And let's say I want to make a 13th chord. So these three notes here basically sounds to our ear as a 13th chord because down here in the bass, hopefully, the bass player is playing the root at some point. As always, rock and roll, and of course, it does compute. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel because that will compute as well. Compute it, everybody. Yeah. So you just throw it. It's like that.